I'm Stephanie and St. Patrick's Day is almost upon us. So before you head out into the St. Patrick's madness, yes. I am going to teach you some super easy and delicious recipes for all of your pregame needs that will take you into the party. Now, put on your green shirt, the one that lies about how you're Irish in an attempt to get people to kiss you. Oh, give me a nice red liquory kiss. Ah. And let's get ready to make some awesome drinks. Sooner or later, it's going to be shot time. Don't worry, we have you covered. First step, the Irish pecker. Not even gonna touch that one. I just touched that one. Okay, let's move on. Jameson, about three quarters of an ounce there. And then I have fresh limes, so we're gonna add those in as well. And then there it is. Take it down. Although, that might not be good for your, well you know. Let's make the Irish coffee. Oh my God, that is the best coffee. You need brewed coffee, an ounce of Jameson, an ounce of Bailey's, give it a little stir, finish it off with some whipped cream. We have fat free here, maybe you're making it for a lady. We notice the details, just saying. There you go, very own Irish coffee. A damn fine cup of coffee. Onto the dirty Irish whiskey. You're gonna need an old fashioned glass, your Jameson, and your Baileys. I'm gonna go, you know, one and a half, one and a half, into my shaker with ice. Shake it up. Party time. And take it down. There you have the dirty Irish whiskey. It's a big shot. You can do it. Next up, the pillow mint. By now, you've probably been flexing your green beer muscles and you're getting ready to go talk to some fancy lady that you just saw at the party. Hold up, check your breath. You probably don't have gum, you probably don't have mints, but we have peppermint schnapps. So let's get started. You're gonna need Jameson, Kahlua, and peppermint schnapps. We're going to start with the Jameson. Give yourself about an ounce and a half. Next comes the Kahlua. About a half an ounce there. And then the recipe calls for a splash of peppermint schnapps. Give it just a little more. Let's try that out. Delicious. Arguably the most St. Patrick's-ish drink of all St. Patrick-ish drinks. What? The Irish car bomb. What you need for this? Your Guinness. And now it's time to move on to the shot. You wanna put the Baileys in first, it's heavier, so it'll layer better that way. Put in there about half, half a shot. And then you add your Jameson. So as soon as this happens, you're going to need to pound it. Ready? There you go, chug it. Chug, chug, chug! Yeah, I, I drank it. Ladies just only chug in private. All right, well, thank you for watching. Hopefully we have given you all of the tools you need with minimal ingredients for maximum festiveness. You know what, and this has all been so easy, you can make St. Patrick's Day every day if you so choose. So what are you waiting for? Go get to it.